so let's start in the previous slide we have learned about the ui control and descriptions okay uh, ui control what is the ui control a user interface control it is called a visual element on a computer screen that helps the humans to interact with the underlying software in addition to being visual elements the ui control are the technical building blocks with predefined attributes methods and values that establish a consistent visualization and interaction so you can see in the diagram also and we have learned and we have discussed about it before in the previous slide okay so we will go through the further slide let's start we will uh, see the buttons so we have seen before the image button and the toggle button right so now we will see the radio button what is the radio button so from the definition we can say uh, you can see in the screen the radio button in android is the one that has only two possible states that are either checked or unchecked it means the radio button is a type of button which shows the probability of checked or unchecked okay initially it is in the unchecked state once it's checked it can't be unchecked it means initial state of the radio button is what it is unchecked state it means when it is unchecked it is the initial stage of radio button and when it is you will tick on the check and you will tick on it then it can't be unchecked it is called the radio button it used in various uh, uh, quizzes questions and uh, in the other form of the multiple choice questions okay so in the next slide we will see check box the use of check box a check box is the ui control that has two states that are either checked or unchecked if we have a group of check box we can select as many as we want unlike the radio group okay so what we can see in the diagram here you can see there is a enable feature of abc and the enable feature of xyz and the enable feature of www so we can check if we want what in the second option then we check enable features if we want to tick the enable features of abc then we will tick on the check box on the first row and if we want enable features of www then we will tick on the enable features www so check box is types of a ui control that has the two states you know similarly as the before if either it is checked or it is unchecked so if you want to check one option then you will tick and if you don't want to check the option you have unchecked okay so two blocks are here in the this stage of checkbox ui control so in the next slide we will again see the bars you know what is the bars bar is the type of the uh, you can say a, uh, we can see in the example in the here bar means it is a block the types of similar type of block you know uh, in the form of block it is called the bar uh, such as the uh, we have before learned in the math section uh, there are the rectangles you know so in the computer we can see the bar is like the rectangle horizontal rectangle so by the definition we can see progress bar progress bar what is progress bar in android we have a progress bar that shows the progress of some actions that is happening like pasting file to some location a progress bar can be in two modes determinate mode or indeterminate mode okay so 
firstly we can see the definition we will uh, discuss about the definition the simple what is the progress bar in the android by the definition we can say the progress bar it is a type of bar that shows the progress of some action uh, for example if you want to copy a song or a sheet or an excel sheet or a, your document uh, from one file to another file on the computer so what you will do you will copy and then paste it into the another drive you know supposed uh, you want to copy the your file from the c drive and on the another stage you want to paste it on the another file folder uh, such as the d drive yeah d folder so you will copy your file and then you will paste again to the tree into the d drive so when you will see a green light you know a green light moving left to right it means it is pasting the folder so what is this this is the progress bar so you can see in the diagram also here the progress bar value it it zero start here is the two buttons also start and the stop when you will click in the start your copying process will start and you will click when stop button then your copying process would be stop okay so progress bar simply we can say here is the green portion green portion mean the process is on progress your copy is on progress and the what is the bar this triangle this rectangle sorry is called the bar you know and it shows the bar symbol determinate mode it has two types determinate modes and indeterminate mode so what is this by definition we will read in this the progress is shown with the percent of action completed also the time to be taken is already determined and in the indeterminate mode in this there is a no idea of when the task would be completed therefore it functions continuously so what we will say in the determinate mode we can say when uh, we copy you know when we copy our file or anything from one folder to another folder and uh, it it will be copying in the action of percent you know in the symbol of percent then what it would be called then it would be called the determinate mode hai na determinate matlab means uh, you can see the action in the form of percent means 10% completed 20% completed 100% completed and uh, in the indeterminate mode what you can see you can see your task would be completed hai na there is no idea means there is no percentage shown in the progress theek hai when you will copy your folder when you will copy your excel sheet or anything one folder to another folder you can't see what is the progress of copying what is the uh, speed of copy what is the progress uh, how many time is left to copy you can't see in the indeterminate mode but the determinate mode you can see the percentage of action like 10% your file copying 10% completed 50% completed and the last 100% completed when the progress is fulfilled okay uh, so you can say you can see the same example in your mobile phone easily uh, on the mobile phone you have a battery option on the top of the mobile you can see right so when you will charge your mobile what you will see you can see your mobiles how many percentage of your battery is charged you can see okay so this is what this is the determination mode of your battery hai na and in determination mode then when you can't see how many percentage of battery has charged 
okay it is called the indetermination mode right so clear here is the example of determination mode and indetermination mode a spinner next is spinner what is the spinner spinner is in android is a user interface that is used to select a particular option from a list of given options spinner in android is the same as the drop down in html it provides us with a faster way to select on option of our choice when we click on the down arrow it shows a list of values from which we can select one so in the from the definition what you can say you we can say the spinner what is the spinner simply a spinner is a roller like a roller hai na is called the spinner hai na which can roll which can move up and down it is simply called the spinner so the spinner is an android android mein spinner what is the spinner it is a user interface that is used to select a particular option from list uh, if in the example we can understand easily with this picture or is example uh, you can see in the example there is a time here is the time 1:15 pm below here is the button of okay okay in the system so we can select one or two here by the this drop down arrows okay we can select the 125 by this drop down arrows we can select the am or the pm according to the time hai na ki if according to the drop down arrows okay we can move up and down so what is this this arrows of up and down is called the spinner in the android in this diagram we can select 2 3 4 which entity we want we can select by the drop down arrow if we want to select two then we have to click on upward arrow and when we have to select the zero and below the number the numbers below the one then what will we do we will select the drop down arrow okay so upward arrow shows the increasing order and downward arrow shows the decreasing order of the what of the spinners okay so a spinner is basically is the roller or the uh, converter or the bol sakte hain it is a simply roller uh, which can show the time which can show the uh, options hai na so many things we can do uh, by the spinners so here is the simple example of a spinner is the in the form of time so we can see here is the time is 115 pm if i want to select 120 then i will go to second 15 and then what i will do we will go to arrows and set it on 20 and if i want to do pm to am then i went then i will go to the arrow and what i will select i will select the am in the place of the pm and then i will put my cursor to okay button so here is the basically simple example of a spinner so these are the all over the ui controls and their description of android okay so thank you so much